Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. I'm gonna give you an overview of this wave here. It doesn't have a number other than the number 96, <laughs> but it's not wave 96. No, no, it is the 96 exclusive wave. Obviously all these figures, or characters or whatever here are all in the 96, which is great. You know, they just dropped this whenever it was and I was just overjoyed to see some of these mentioned. This one's interesting because they did bring out the Imperial Gunner in the Rogue One line. And you know, they could have easily just sort of said, well, we've done an Imperial Gunner now in the Vintage Collection, that will count as that character in the 96. Now, I never had an Imperial Gunner as a kid in the 80s. And I, you know, this car back here, when I think of the Gunner, I always think of A New Hope. So this one here has never been one of my favorite car backs, but still, I'm just saying that they have obviously honored it and ticked that 96 box, which means that hopefully they will do that for all of them. You know what I mean? Awesome. Quite excited to know what the future will be for the 96. One of my questions is, what are they going to do for Bren Darlin? Or is it Bren Darlin? Should we call him the Hoth Commander? The guy with the moustache? Could be Bren Darlin. Just don't know what they're going to do with that anyway. The guy in the car back doesn't have a moustache though, but the figure certainly did. Anyway, I'm totally digressing. So what I'll also do is I'll show you. These came this morning as well from In Demand Toys. I got a whole set of these and, you know, talk about that in a minute. And also, as I say, this wave here is a lovely wave known as the 96 exclusive wave, I guess. And I've put them in numerical order. Um, I think it goes like this, 231, 232, 233, 235, 239. Let me just see if I'm right on that one. Yeah, 239, 234, I was wrong. This should be 233, yes. 232 and 231. The Imperial Stormtrooper. So when I was in Forbidden Planet the other day, I did see this. So it was swinging on the pegs. I was almost like, ah, oh, I wanted to grab it, but I knew <laughs> I had it coming. So there's no point in me buying it again. Hopefully, I think I've got another set of these coming from somewhere else so I can open them. So let's start over here with the last one. The Imperial Bespin Guard. This is the one I had as a kid. I'll be opening and reviewing these in the fullness of time, but I just thought I would look at that. Just reminds you of the original. Look at that with the gold trim there. Lovely. I will be reviewing them and opening them in the Quick Shot series, but here is a preview look of the card and everything. They've certainly tidied up that image, haven't they? Look at that. It's very, very rare that you see that turquoise in the vintage collection. Is it turquoise? You know that, you know what I mean? There's not many that have that light blue that I can remember off the top of my head. Then we have RTD2, which is brilliant that they've done this. As I always say, they had the VOTC version of this, um, which was on the Return of the Jedi card back, which is a card that did exist back in the day, but it was never accurate, because that's clearly an image from the Return of uh, Empire Strikes Back. So I'm glad that we've now got the proper film badge on this image. They've, they've, and speaking of the image, they've definitely cleaned that up as well. Look at 3PO, it looks a lot better. It still looks quite matte painting, like you can see almost the um, compositing or whatever on there, but still. This is the car back that doesn't mean as much to me because I didn't have this one as a kid. I didn't even know there was this version of the, the Bespin Security until my adult years. But there you go, it just passed me by. Uh, let's have a look at his face. Yeah, the great figures. Oh, oh, except for that, I don't like that crunch. What is it with Bespin characters and the ab crunch? They've done it on Lobot. On Lando himself, who's just over there, stood by IG-88. I need to sort these shelves out, man. They're in no particular order. And now this fella. Shame, isn't it? He does not need that. These political characters or city characters who do not do much. I mean, he's not got it. So why has he got it? Ridiculous. Anyway, this guy... I don't know, I do like the Tidarium hanger, but I've never been a fan of that car back. <laughs> you know, if I had it as a kid, obviously maybe it would have more significance, but still. Anyway, it's a nice figure that I still don't have that one loose. The only <laughs> gunner I've got is from the Power of the Force 2, so I could do with opening one of these at some point. Put it on my Imperial shelves, but it's a nice figure that, isn't it? I always used to think as a kid when I saw these in um, <laughs> A New Hope, I used to think they were little aliens, like little mole men. Because there's no sign of humanity there, is there? I mean, you could argue that with the Stormtrooper. It takes away their humanity. And uh, they, they've got no individuality. They're just en masse, just faceless. 
enemies, but these in particular just look like little little moles or something. Did you ever have that as a kid? Although having said that, I used to think that Yoda was fishing, but apparently not. And loads of people are coming out and saying, what are you all about? <laughs> I swear to God, he was. When, you know, just before Luke goes in the cave, but still. And here we are now with uh, the, the, the finally, I can't believe I've only just got hold of one. This has been out for a while and reviewed by others, but the Stormtrooper on a New Hope card back at long bloody last. Prior to this, the only one you could get as close to that was the George Lucas Stormtrooper disguise. There you have it. Finally, they've done it. I'm glad they've done that. I thought they would never do it. The only thing they've got to do now on a, on a New Hope card back is C-3PO. They've done Chewbacca, that was one that was pending when I started my channel. It was only really Chewbacca, R2-D2, not on this car back, but the New Hope one. I'm talking about the first 12 here. And the Stormtrooper. And 3PO, they could do that. And they, uh, Do you know what, it would be marvellous if they would bring out 3PO. I always used to say that they could just do this, which they obviously reissued that on, a, on the Empire card again. But um, I would love it if they just... Cause, are they going to do Vat Metal now for the retro collection? I would, oh man, I would love them to bring out as articulated as they can with really shiny Vat Metal style paint. That would be awesome. And then that is it for this wave, ladies and gentlemen. But finally, before I leave you, this isn't the same wave, but these are looking brilliant. I didn't intend, initially, I wasn't that interested in these, but the car back won me over. Plus I, I realized that it would be nice to have at least two, maybe more of these figures to flank Ahsoka. There she is, the new one. Let me go and get her. They, that would look really good. I need to watch that se season seven again. Some episodes were better than others, but yeah, she, she needs a little bit of um, flankage. Some guys left and right at her, either side of her. That would be really cool. I think I very briefly showed you the back of the cards, but there ain't anything of interest to show you. On here, you'll see the other figures that they have in the way. Speaking of the Super Commando, there's the, ah, there's the Captain. And what else have we got here? Yeah, I've got all these. These are coming up soon in my quick shots. I haven't reviewed him yet. He's next. At the time of making this video, I still haven't had him. Figuring down, a lot of people message and say, "Have you got this stuff so early?" I haven't got loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff I've not got. Like figuring down. Din Djarin, Arc Trooper Jesse I've not got yet. So I don't know, it's mad. And, and I think that Super Commando's yet to arrive. What is on the back of these? I'll just show you the back of one. Give you a flavor. Did they show you a different image on the back of all of these? Hang on. No, it's the same. Anyway, thank you very much. Let's have a little shot of the Falcon now as we end this. Look at that, I love that beautiful ship. Lying on its back there is the, that, the ATST. It's done well actually, that's the vintage collection one I got a year ago. It buckles more than the Rogue One reissue, which was in the Black series, there it is up there, that's strong. This one has done well, it's lasted about over six months without buckling, but it buckled the other day, that's the temperature. Very hot here in the UK, and I need to realign and readjust that, which takes forever. So anyway, there you go, thank you for joining me. And uh, yes, that's all I can say, ladies and gentlemen. Do stay tuned for more videos. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.